And the third angle theorem is based on the fact that we know that a triangle always has 180 degrees. All the uh, total of all its triangles is always 180 degrees. So that tells us that if we have any two triangles and we know that two of the angles on those triangles are congruent, we also know that the third angle is congruent. So if we have these two triangles, let's get two of them sketched in real quick here. Like so. All right, so if we have two triangles and I tell you, for instance, that this angle here and this angle here are congruent and that this angle here and this angle here are congruent, then we know without seeing anything else that this angle down here must be congruent on the two triangles. And that's because we know that if we call this, say, angle A and angle B, and we call this one angle C and this one down here angle D, we know that A plus B plus whatever the missing one down here, we'll call it X, we know that those two plus X equals 180, right? We also know that on this triangle, C plus D plus X equals 180, because all triangles are 180 degrees. So if A and B are congruent to C and D, in other words, these two add up to be the same value as these two do, and they must, if A is congruent to C and B is congruent to D, then whatever's left over, X, must be the same in both triangles. Because if I take this same amount, A plus B, away from 180, I get 180 minus A plus B is equal to X, and I get 180 minus C plus D is equal to X. In other words, I take my total of 180 and I take away these two added together, what's left is X. And if I take 180 and I take away these other two added together, what's left is X. And since A plus B and C plus D are the same thing, X must be the same thing. It's the only thing left. So that's what the third angle theorem tells us. It tells us that with any two triangles, if you know any two angles on those two triangles to be congruent, the third angle is also congruent. Now let's see how it works with the example problems. Mm -hmm.